something monumental has slipped past our radar. But fear not, there's still a chance to seize it. However, this opportunity comes with a warning it could also spell massive risk, potentially costing millions for unwary holders. So, what's at stake? Let's delve into the details. Yesterday was a wild ride in the cryptocurrency world. A seismic revelation rippled through the market, triggering panic as nearly $300 million in leveraged positions were liquidated in a single morning. Just imagine the magnitude of that loss, $300 million evaporating in the blink of an eye. It's a stark reminder of the volatility inherent in this space. And with the recent Bitcoin halving event throwing more fuel onto the flames, caution is paramount. Brace yourselves, because in the short term, market gyrations aren't just a possibility, they're practically inevitable. But wait, that's not all that unfolded yesterday. Believe it or not, there's something far more significant that took place. Something went down in the Shiba Inu ecosystem that didn't seem like a big deal at first. Surprisingly, Shiba Inu influencers didn't even cover it yesterday. It's not every day that good news slips by unnoticed. But this news is way more significant than anyone initially thought. All because of one crucial detail that nobody paid attention to. It's like when you miss a tiny scratch on your car, only to realize later it's a sign of a much larger problem underneath. So, what's up? Well, SBC Trade, the crypto division of SBI Japan, has opened up a new opportunity that might seem boring at first glance, but is actually pretty exciting. They've launched a new service that lets you earn passive income with Shiba Inu and a few other cryptocurrencies. This news came straight from the horse's mouth, with SBI announcing it on their official X account and detailing it on their blog. They call it the RentCoin Lending Service, and it's available for holders of Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash. Here's the deal. You can lend out your crypto assets that you're not planning to sell anytime soon and earn rental fees during the lending period. SBI made it clear that this is for folks who want to earn some extra cash without selling their crypto. This is the same as if you have a book collection that you love, but you're not reading them all the time. You could lend them to someone else who wants to read them and make some money while still keeping your collection safe at home. This is pretty much how the library business was started in the first place. And get this, more than 75% of Shiba Inu holders don't plan to sell their tokens anytime soon. That's a big chunk of people who might be interested in this opportunity. It's a pretty cool discovery when you think about it, but what's more interesting is that it is a bank that's offering this opportunity. Yep. You heard that right. Now, you might be thinking, wait, don't banks usually hate crypto? And you'd be right. It's a known fact that many banks aren't exactly fans of cryptocurrency. And we're not just talking about small banks here. Some big ones aren't too keen on it either. For those who still don't understand what I'm talking about, here's a brief eye-opener from a Twitter user that sheds light on the main issue with banks. Explained in simple terms, they shared a story about how even supposedly crypto-friendly banks can freeze accounts over crypto transactions. For instance, in the UK, there's been a surge in frozen or restricted accounts belonging to crypto professionals. Surprisingly, this includes banks like Revolut, known for their crypto-friendly services. The user narrates how they faced account freezes and fees when trying to transfer Ethereum to their personal wallet through the Revolut app. This incident raises concerns about users' control over their own funds and highlights the fine line banks must walk between regulatory compliance and user experience. In the US, traditional banks are also closing accounts of longtime customers involved in digital assets, sparking questions about motivations and transparency. The UK's regulatory approach, including positive friction, aims to enhance consumer protection, but can also slow down crypto investment processes. This narrative underscores the tension between traditional banking systems and the growing crypto market. One user hit the nail on the head, 
expressing disappointment at banks freezing crypto accounts and calling for more transparency and user control over funds. It's a sentiment many in the crypto community share. This comment is undoubtedly positive. It aligns with principles of financial autonomy and consumer empowerment, promoting fairness and accountability in banking practices. Users deserve to have clear visibility and authority over their own assets, free from arbitrary restrictions or interference. However, on the negative side, the continued freezing of crypto accounts by banks raises ethical concerns about trust and fairness in financial institutions. It highlights issues of discrimination against individuals engaging in legal and legitimate activities within the crypto space. Such actions can erode user confidence in traditional banking systems and perpetuate feelings of exclusion or injustice among crypto enthusiasts. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Take major banks like JP Morgan, led by CEO Jamie Dimon, who was famously anti-crypto, even calling for it to be banned. But guess what? It recently came out that Diamond is an authorized participant for Bitcoin Spot ETF, a big deal in the crypto world. When this revelation first hit, it sparked some serious discussions. It's a bit of a head-scratcher, isn't it? On one hand, banks seem to dislike crypto because it gives people too much freedom. But on the other hand, they're perfectly fine profiting from it themselves. From an ethical standpoint, this doesn't sit right. It's like saying one thing and doing another. Banks should be consistent in their stance and treat all customers fairly, regardless of their personal interests or investments. This kind of double standard undermines trust and integrity in the financial system, which ultimately harms consumers and the broader crypto community. So, as SBI Bank continues to roll out new crypto services like this one with Shiba Inu and lending, something interesting occurs. Even though they didn't speak bad about crypto in public, people are starting to split into two camps. One camp believes that all banks will eventually come around and fully embrace crypto. Meanwhile, the other camp sees it as a Trojan horse, some kind of hidden danger like a disguised threat. They think people need to tread carefully, wary of potential risks lurking beneath the surface. For now, it's unclear how long banks will continue adding new crypto services before potentially pulling back. But as long as they do, crypto prices and adoption will likely keep on rising. Now, let's circle back to the situation we discussed earlier with over $300 million being liquidated in just hours. Today, Ote, we're seeing a similar scenario unfolding with Shiba Inu. Analysts are warning that Shiba Inu traders could face losses of up to $1 million if something goes down. But what am I talking about? Well, this week, the price of Shiba Inu has notably held steady above the $0.42 cents mark, despite the broader crypto market experiencing a significant downturn. This decline, totaling over $50 billion, has been attributed to escalating news in the Middle East, sparking fears and uncertainty among investors. However, amidst this turmoil, Shiba Inu has demonstrated resilience, managing to avoid a major reversal. One contributing factor to Shiba Inu's resilience can be traced to the behavior of its investors. On-chain data reveals that investors have opted to hold on to their Shiba Inu tokens rather than succumb to market fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Instead of selling into the turbulent market conditions, they are positioning themselves for potential future gains. Examining the movement of Shiba Inu tokens across exchanges provides further insights into investor sentiment. Over the last seven days, approximately $9 million worth of Shiba Inu tokens have been withdrawn from exchange-hosted wallets and moved to cold storage. This withdrawal of tokens from readily tradable markets has reduced the overall selling pressure on exchanges, contributing to Shiba Inu's ability to maintain its price level. Moreover, analyzing liquidation maps sheds light on the current market sentiment among leveraged traders. The data indicates a notable shift in favor of bullish sentiment, with long positions outnumbering shorts. 
In practical terms, this suggests that a majority of derivative traders are betting on Shiba Inu's price rebounding in the near term. Considering these factors, the outlook for Shiba Inu appears optimistic. And as illustrated above, Shiba Inu short traders face the risk of losing over $1 million in potential liquidations if prices surge another 10%. Given the substantial stake the bulls have in the market, it currently appears more likely for Shiba Inu's price to advance towards 10% gains. So, people need to be very, very careful as they might lose over a million dollars in liquidations. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. Thank you for watching.